What's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. It's an old Yamaha YTM 200 I got for 200 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna put some before pictures in. I should have had a before video and I totally forgot. Uh, the thing was beat. It was sitting outside for about 10 years when I picked it up. Uh, it was wrecked, which is why he had it outside. The front forks were bent badly. I put them in a hydraulic press and straightened them out. The plastics were bent and cracked. You know, I got them as good as I could and they were faded. Uh, pressure washed the, the plastics and cleaned them up and I used a heat gun to kind of bring them back. Uh, I needed a front tire that was like, I don't know, 60 bucks at Tractor Supply. Um, needs a seat cover yet, but I had it running. It drives, it runs, and I keep having to clean the carburetor. So I'm again gonna try to order an Amazon carb for this. I think it's a, a Makuni VM22. Um, I'm gonna take it apart right now and double check that. If if I can make one of those work, I will. I know they make one specific to it, but the uh, the choke is actually broke. So it, it doesn't do anything. The um, bracket underneath is broken. It happened in the accident. So the choke doesn't function. And I think that's part of the problem why I can't get to start when it's cold. But even when it is warm, it doesn't idle very well. So I'm gonna pull it off now. I'm tired of messing with that carb and we're gonna see if the old faithful Amazon carbs work on here. I've had them work on snow blowers. I had them work on uh, pit bikes. I had them work on uh, lawn mowers. So it's like, I'm gonna give it a shot. So let's pull the plastics off and see what this carb looks like. Okay, so we got the carb off and it looks like it is the factory Makuni. Um, I can't find a rebuild kit for this. I found like parts that I could buy for it. So I'm gonna try the Amazon route again. Um, because the choke cable is broke, I can't use that slide choke there. So I was gonna see if I could like measure everything up, take some measurements and see if I can get the one with the lever and see if I can make it work. If I can't, I think I'm gonna buy a, like a PW50 choke cable and then just mount it, you know, somewhere else on the four wheeler, either off the front of the tank or underneath the back fender or something. I mean, it'll be goofy, but it would work. You know, for 200 bucks, who really cares, right? Um, I should also mention that the engine, it does have a tick. I checked uh, the timing and set the valves and everything's fine, still has a tick. There was some oil in the, I mean, I water in the oil when I changed it. Um, I'm sure that doesn't help, uh, but it has fresh oil in now and I didn't run it with the crap oil in it. Um, I'm assuming it, it came in through the carb and intake at some point, and which was probably why the inside of this looks so bad too. Um, and it's, it's, I mean, somebody, whoever had it, man, they beat the heck out of it. So we're going to see what we can find and see if we can get this thing running again. Okay, so we got the Amazon carb here, and it looks a lot like the original. The fuel line here is a little smaller, so we'll have to get a new fuel line for it. Um, I already had it apart. I checked the jets, and I also made sure everything was tight because uh, you got to watch with these uh, that nothing's loose. I set the air fuel have an idea where to set the idle. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a whirl now. Actually, I ended up buying the one specific for the three-wheeler because the uh, the lever, the intake here was a different size with that one. So I had to make a throttle cable work from a PW50. And actually, I'm gonna to have to get another one because this push pull is not gonna work. It's gonna to need to be that Yamaha lever to keep um, this slide up when you have the choke on, but it does work, it functions. Um, we're gonna put it on the three-wheeler and see if we can get it to start. Okay, so we got it running again. You can hear the tick, it's still there. Still don't know why that's there. Uh, and you can tell by looking at it, I still have the factory carburetor on there. I can say with full confidence that if you're gonna buy one of the Amazon carburetors for a YTM 200, it is not gonna work. So I took it all apart because I figured if you are interested in doing this, you could look in here and see that it, it out, although it is similar, it's different. Uh, the pilot jet that came with it 
it's much smaller. Let's see if I can get it to focus. And a factory jet won't fit in here, so you can't even try to like use the factory jets in here. And the main jet, similar, but there's not a whole lot of ports on here. There's not a lot of holes. Um, also, the inside of the jets, pilot and mains, significantly smaller. So when I had this carburetor on, it was a bear to get it to start. It would not idle at all and it would not rev up at all. The only way it get to idle was with the choke on. And that's it. So this is going to be a $20 piece of junk. Now, it is idling. It revs up. I did have to rig a choke cable back to here. And I am going to have to get one of the lever actu or actuated ones because it doesn't stay out. So it's like a two-pan process to get to start when it's cold right now. But it starts and runs. I don't know if it's going to continue running because I've had this car rear apart several times. But I can say with full confidence, don't get the Amazon card for this. I, I don't know. If it comes to rebuilding, I guess you can, you can find stuff for uh, other Yamaha uh, quads, I think, that, that will fit it. But... For now, we're just gonna run it and see what happens. And that's my eight-year-old son getting to see what it's like to drive a three-wheeler from the 80s. Uh, it is not idling again. You gotta kinda help it. Uh, I don't know what else to do with this factory carb. Sounds like it might be an air leak because it like idles high and then when it wants to idle it just shuts off. But for now, he's enjoying it. It's another toy. And for $200 if we have some fun in the yard in front of the snow, I'm good with it. Thanks for checking it out.